As most of the fanbase believes, the Straw Hat Pirates and the Blackbeard Pirates will fight for the title of the Pirate King's crew. As I believe this fight will be the one that ascends the Straw Hats into their fullest potential, these fights will address the weaknesses of the Straw Hats, within which they will likely have power-ups and become more well-rounded fighters. These fights will further allow them to settle any vendettas that they may have against particular Blackbeard Pirates, in some cases. There will be some predictions about new crewmates of Teaches based upon recent events and likely future events in the manga. You must also remember that we are aware that the Blackbeard Pirates are all trying to acquire Devil Fruits if they do not already have them, therefore, it is likely that most members will acquire Devil Fruit powers if they do not already. It is only the logical conclusion, since we have seen them acquiring fruits. Without further ado let's get into the theory. Number 1 Captain Marshall D. Teach Known abilities, Gura Gura no Mi, Yami Yami no Mi, Busashoku Haki and Kenbunshoku Haki, Insane Durability. Opponent, Monkey D. Luffy, Captains, Revenge. Developments, as far as Teach is concerned, we have seen with just his devil fruits alone that he could defeat Marco comfortably. However, we know that, despite his insane durability, he could not defend against Luffy and impel down, implying that his hockey was weak by comparison to the other Yonko. Therefore, it is most likely that along with mastering his devil fruits he will acquire incredibly strong observation hockey and armament hockey in the same way Luffy is currently doing. Blackbeard by the time this showdown occurs will have next to no weaknesses as he will have the two most destructive devil fruits out there and potentially top tier observation hockey and armament hockey. As Teach lacks the qualities of a king, and ultimately will not achieve the title of Pirate King, I personally doubt he will unlock Conqueror's Hockey. Number 2 First Fleet Commander Jesus Burgess Abilities, Armament Hockey, Likely Use of Observation Hockey, No Devil Fruit Opponent, Roranoa Zoro, De Facto First Mates, Right Hand Men Developments, it had been theorized for a while that Shilyu would receive the Kira Kira no Mi due to the fact he seems to be set up as Zoro's opponent and the fact Mahak could not cut Jozu. It was implied with Daz's fight with Zoro that he would eventually cut Diamond. It has now come to pass that Shilyu has the Suk Suk no Mi instead. This likely leads this foreshadowing from Alabasta to need to apply to a totally different character altogether. The fact that the Blackbeard Pirates are pursuing the former Whitebeard Pirates leads me to believe that the bulk of their new abilities can be found in their crew already. Therefore, as the most prominent melee fighter amongst the Blackbeard Pirates and their first ship commander essentially being Marshal D. Teach's first mate, it makes sense that Zoro will fight Burgess despite the fact he is not a swordsman. Though I personally believe there may be a 2v2 fight between Zoro plus Sanji and Shilyu plus Burgess in future or perhaps an opponent swap between these two pairs. Number 3 Second Fleet Commander Shilyu Abilities, Master Swordsman with the Suk Suk no Mi Opponent, Vinsmoke Sanji, Left Hand Men Developments, initially, I thought he would be Zoro's opponent, but the striking similarity of invisibility-based powers between himself and Sanji, as well as things explained above in Burge's section, now lead me to believe he will be Sanji's opponent. Though I did also mention the possibility of a 2v2 or of an opponent swap situation as well as both pairs seem like they could match against each other in either combination. I believe this is not too far-fetched. Based on what we have seen from the glimpse of his power we saw in Impel Down, he also appears to be a speed-based fighter. Shiryu has always had stealthy abilities even before receiving the Suk Suk no Mi, being able to reach the control room in Impel Down without being noticed by surveillance snails, so a fight with Sanji seems oddly destined. This also means, I bet, he will have insane coup as we expect Sanji will as well. Number 4 Third Fleet Commander Van Auger Abilities, Master Sniper Opponent, Usopp, Sniper's, Revenge Developments, this matchup seems incredibly obvious and it is likely both fighters will have advanced observation hockey, this fight is likely to be long distance, though I wouldn't be surprised if Augur also applies armament hockey to his bullets. 
Due to the fact his name, Augur, is a reference to and derivation from the term augury, the practice of divination and prediction via the use of birds in Roman culture, I predict he will have a flight-based zone fruit, perhaps a smile, but I expect bigger things here. I expect, due to Usopp's closeness with the Tantata, that now with Doflamingo out of the picture and soon Kaido's fall will occur, it is likely that the Blackbeard pirates may try to assume control of the island. As Usopp has a bug theme, because Heracles and Augur may in fact gain the Mushi Mushi no Mi model, Kabutomushi from Kabu, since the Blackbeard pirates appear to have a habit of killing off side characters. It'll be a battle against a Kabuto Beetle Zone user and Usopp's Kuro Kabuto sniping. Number 5 Fourth Fleet Commander Avalo Pizarro Abilities, very little is known other than the fact he uses some very strange weapons, he appears to be kitted out with them. Opponent, Frankie, Avalo seems to use a lot of different weapons. Developments, purely based upon his weaponized appearance, he is very likely to be Frankie's opponent, as both use a multitude and array of weapons. There isn't much else to really say as he is one of the more obscure members of the crew. I expect the fight with Frankie will be largely CQC and therefore I expect Pizarro will obtain a zone or paramecia. A perfect one for this would be Blaminko's unnamed fruit that allows him to store weapons inside of his body. Again, this fruit comes from the Whitebeard Pirates as their being, have been pursued by the Blackbeard Pirates since the start of the time skip. Number 6 Fifth Fleet Commander Lafitte Abilities, unnamed devil fruit ability with the ability of hypnosis accompanied. Opponent, Nami, navigators. Developments, once again, there's very little to go by other than occupation. It has been theorized that Lafitte has an angel or swan zone, which would make sense. His ability to hypnotize could be a huge stumbling block for Nami. Given his wings, I reckon his powers could be useful in dispelling Nami's clouds. This will make him an incredibly difficult opponent for Nami to face. Sadly, there's not very much material to go on here, but the most convincing idea for a zone is the Hito Hito no Mi model, Harpy, because, as Nami is obsessed with money, Harpies were too. Number 7 6th Fleet Katarina Devon Abilities, Assassination and Sabotage Skills and the Inu Inu no Mi model, Kitsune. Opponent, Nico Robin. Developments, Katarina Devon is said to be obsessed with collecting beautiful women's heads. Now this could be Nami or Nico Robin, but personally I think Robin and Katarina match up better, along with Nami and Lafitte. It is also worth noting that Robin and Katarina are similar in personality as they both tend to be sarcastic. Number 8 7th Fleet Commander San Yuan Wolf Abilities, immense size granted to him by an unnamed Paramisha Devil Fruit. Opponent, Jinbei, just a hunch really. Developments, he will fight Jinbei because he is a fighter that Jinbei seems to be proficient in dealing with, as Jinbei has techniques that make large bodies a disadvantage. I believe it's possible that Wolf's Fruit allows him to adjust his size at will, which will make him a difficult opponent and explains how he was able to fit into a cell, and get out of a cell, in Impel Down. It's simply an ability that makes sense. 9 8th Fleet Commander Vasco Shot Abilities, largely unknown Opponent, Brook Developments, I pitted Vasco Shot up against Brook largely by process of elimination and the fact Brook and Vasco were the last two left without a matchup. As for what ability Vasco will attain, this is very difficult to judge. Number 10 9th Fleet Commander Doc Q plus Stronger Abilities, pretty much unknown other than medical abilities. Opponent, Tony Tony Chopper, Doctors plus Animal. Developments, it may seem odd that that Vasco shot has a more poisonous theme than Doc Q, but there is another, even more poisonous ability than the Gasu Gasu no Mi, which works perfectly for Doc Q whom appears to be riddled with illness. It's possible he is a connoisseur of poisons, weird as it sounds, because of the rigged apple scene way back in the Jaya arc. The medical prestige means he will perhaps be a far more successful user of the Doku Doku no Mi than Magellan ever was, and I would not be surprised if the Blackbeard Pirates revisited the prison in order to attain this fruit. 
Another positive for this idea is the fact Oda loves playing on words, and doku is pronounced exactly the same way as dok in Japanese. It goes without saying that most, if not all, of each crew will attain, develop, strengthen their hockey too. Asterisk theory by LOGIA